Hey folks, welcome back. So everyone was messaging me today about this video from Zion James about creating realistic hi-hats and cymbals and crash sounds in a DAW just with a few plugins and using basically physical modeling to create these realistic sounds. And people want to know, can you do this in Bitwig Studio, of course, and I try to come up with some patch in a very short time. And this is here the preset, which I want to share with you for free, of course, in the description below. It creates here a stick sound and dispersion feedback. And also there's here a resonator. And uh, maybe you want to also add an EQ here at the end. But this is how it sounds at the moment. Right. And then you can use here these knobs to change some settings inside of this patch. So it's very, it's a very easy setup. Actually, um, it's the same setup here, like in uh, Excite Simple, which are some plugins, and these plugins are completely free, by the way, and they are also open source. So if you don't want to use here in the grid patch, you can also use this plugin. It sounds like this. And these plugins here are around for quite some time, a few years actually. And if you don't want to use the free version, you can upgrade to Pro and then you have a sidechain input and you can feed in any sound possible into this uh, exciter and resonator model here if you want to. There's also a snare model for that. It looks exactly the same. Um. <laughs> So it's also around for years now and also open source. And I think this is just under the hood. It's a pure data patch uh, that you can use and examine or maybe just tweak and make some different sounds of it. Uh, so, so this is here the, the preset for Bitwig Studio, completely native. We have here a stick simulation, um, very basic. Um, actually, you can't hear anything. Yeah, it sounds like this. You can change the stick pitch. And everything that you do to the stick, of course, influences how it sounds later down the line when you feed it through all these feedbacks and resonators. Um, there's also an EQ in here, uh, so you can tweak the exciter a bit in different directions. Then we go here into the dispersion feedback. So this one here is the critical part because here you need very low delay times for the feedback. And um, this is not really possible inside of Bitwig. What you need to do is you need to go to the settings here and go to audio and choose a very small block size. So you can go down to 1.3 milliseconds of latency or round trip time or however you want to call it. Um, so you can actually go into a long delay here with 1.3 millisecond delay, then go through all these effects and then go back into the beginning. And then you can create here a nice feedback line with some all pass delays in it with delay modulation. And also use here the audio rate modulation to change delay, which is basically like FM or this, um, uh, how is it called dispersion, right? You just modulate the delay time uh, with the uh, amplitude. So this is how it sounds here. And then you take all of this and go into a resonator. And in Bitwig, I just use here the comp filter. And I don't use only one comp filter. I actually use 16 comp filters here in a voice stack. And uh, then I use here a um, stack spread modulator to actually spread all these frequencies apart so you don't just stick, stick on one frequency with the comp filter. And of course you can tweak this in all kinds of directions and you get always a different sound. And at the end here, you probably also want to have an EQ. Uh, let's use an EQ five here, maybe a bit of low pass filtering there, uh, low cut filtering there. Okay, let's save this here. Uh, okay. And then you can play around with this. I use here some macros, but you can also just go into the patch here and tweak it. Everything you do to the stick makes it sound completely different. So you can um, 
push here some low frequencies to get a more like a right sound. Or this type of right sound. So it is completely dependent on the stick sound, how it's how the symbol or what kind of type of symbol you get if you get the right sound or more like a crash or whatever. Um, then we have here this dispersion feedback. Also here very important what you do to the all pass delays here, what kind of timing there is. Um, Also your the LFO modulation is very slightly on the delay, but also if you just amplify this. It gets you kind of different sounds. You can play around with this. You can also try to stick in here some uh, transfer curves, some saturation to get some different effects. Also, if you don't want to use the stick sound, you can just disable this and send audio into it. It's also possible. Uh, resonator. Yeah, I just explained this, just a bunch of comp filters and I use here the voice stacking uh, or the stack modulator uh, to just spread these frequencies apart. It gives you also widely different results, what kind of center frequency you use. Sounds even better sometimes. If you, if you completely spread it apart. Uh, then we have here the, um, there's, a, there's kind of a delay line in here and there's also a low pass on that. And I use here this macro for that. So you get all kinds of different right and simple sounds out of this if you want to. Also at the end here, very important to have a static EQ. Um, to, highlight, to highlight some of the um, uh, contents of the sound or bring out certain frequencies more or less. So very important. So it's actually a very simple setup. And I think this is usually how you create these uh, physical modeling uh, right and simple sounds. Uh, but usually this is hidden inside of pure data patches most of the times because there you can get these low delay times. Here in the DAW, you always need to go to the settings and you know choose a very low uh, block size for that just to get this uh, very low round trip time. But in Bitwig Studio, completely possible, of course, if you want to create these kind of sounds and you want to sample them, maybe. So you have to open up here this project or maybe make a new project, use this preset, pull down the block size, create your simple sounds, sample it into multiple samples, and then you go into a project. You have to choose the sam different sample size again because you don't want to produce here uh, with 64 samples. It's probably not possible. Um, so yeah, this is a bit of a tedious thing to do. I hope we get in the future in Bitwig some kind of uh, feedback uh, system that allows you to create very low um, round trip times without going into the settings. This would be really nice to have. But I also said this a few years ago, but you know, it's a very niche thing to do. Also here, Excite Snare. I really like these plugins sometimes. I use this here for sampling snares sometimes or to create layers. And if you, uh, like I said, if you use here the upgrade and you buy this for 30 bucks, you can also feed some audio into this. Or if you are familiar with uh, Pure Data, Plug Data, um, if you go to the website here, I think you can even download the Pure Data patch and make some tweaks to it. Okay, so that's that. And maybe I also create here his versions for kick drums and snare drums inside of Bitwig if you want me to do this. It's kind of the same uh, setup, I think, probably uh, just with a few different tweaks. Anyway, cool channel. Give him a follow. Of course, he makes a lot of buzz here with these videos. I can see this already. <laughs> um, and yeah, cool stuff. 
Thanks for watching. Leave me a like and let me know what you think. Download the patch. Have some fun. See you in the next video. Bye.